In two years and 109 videos, Jenny Hoyos has gained 1.65 million subscribers making shorts giving financial advice without giving financial advice. You can do exactly the same thing. Let's recreate the open for Jenny's latest short in CapCut, then I'll tell you Jenny's secret and how you too can get a million subscribers for free. I shot this in my kitchen using my phone because your camera just doesn't matter. Let's jump into CapCut, we'll import our footage. I'll select all of these by selecting the top one, holding my shift key and then selecting the bottom, selecting import. We could select the beginning of the clip we wanna use by navigating with J, K and L. And when we find about the beginning, we would just type the letter I to set an endpoint, go to the end of what we wanna use, and type an O to set an out point, then clicking on this plus sign here. And that drags into the timeline and we can just clean it up a little bit once we're in the timeline because we have a little more precision control. Maybe when the bottle starts to move, we make that our very first frame. And I could split the clip right here by selecting the split icon here. Now we have our beginning shot that looks like this. I shrug and about there, I probably wanna end it. Now I could do that with every clip, but I find sometimes it's really helpful just to put all of your clips in your timeline in order and then edit in the timeline. And I do this in both CapCut and Premiere. So I'm gonna take these remaining clips and drag them all to the timeline like this. I'm going to just select the rest of these clips and put them in order. We now have this open roughed out. We're not gonna use any of this audio, so I could either hit this mute icon right here and that mutes this entire track, but if I moved these clips to another track, the audio would come back. So what I instead wanna do is select all of the clips and click on audio and then drag the volume down. And as I drag the volume up and down, look in the timeline and you'll see that the audio levels are going up and down for all the clips. So let's drag it down to nothing. And now we have no audio, but all the clips intact. Did you know that you can record voiceover right within CapCut? To record, we position our playhead where we want the audio to start. Now I could record live while watching these cuts, but I don't really wanna do that. I just want to have the audio in the timeline so I can clean it up in case I make mistakes. So I'm gonna position my playhead at the end of the sequence and to record, you just hit the record icon. You have options to record with whichever devices are hooked up to your computer at the moment. I've got this mic, which I'm going to use, but I could also record with the microphone built into my computer or my phone, believe it or not. It knows my phone's here and I could just record into my phone. It would be better to record into my phone than using my computer's microphone because I could put this microphone right next to my mouth. When I hit record, it's going to give me about a three second run up so I'm ready to start recording and then it'll add the audio after this. So let's hit record. Is tonic water actually... Is tonic water actually water? I'm gonna find out by replacing Leela's tonic water with tap water to see if she notices. And I'll do one more take. Is tonic water actually water? I'm gonna find out by replacing Leela's tonic water with tap water to see if she notices. I think my second take was the better take, so I'm going to use my second take and I'm just gonna edit this. Next, I'm gonna show you a secret for learning how creators actually create their content. Let's go ahead and import that clip of Jenny right here. And I'm just gonna drag it on top of my video and I'll be able to match exactly what she does because I can see it. And Never, ever, ever copy a creator word for word, shot for shot, duplicate their videos, but learn from this and be inspired by this so you can learn how to do what they do. First, we go through here and because I made almost all exactly the same shots, I'm gonna try to match it shot for shot. So I'm just going to go through here and find where each cut is. And I'm gonna add a cut here. I'll just click add cut. And then we've got this little transition thing here. And that's very short and actually this, this secret alone can completely level up your stuff because what is she doing right here? She's doing a quick change and you think it's some fancy visual effect, but literally all she's doing, she's got a few frames of her bringing the apron into frame. And then right here we can see she just cuts to a completely different shot. The backgrounds didn't even line up perfectly. Look how the background's out of focus. That light right here is out of focus. And here it's in focus. But because it's just one frame, the illusion is great and she's moving. You can do this all the time. Quick change, change your shoes, change your clothes, change your hat, change your location, doing stuff like this. Now all I have to do is line up my cuts with her cuts and then adjust them maybe a little bit. I'm gonna turn off the magnetic timeline down here so I can drag this over and have room to do this easily. That's all there is to that. Notice that all of my cuts match exactly. I also adjusted the audio so it was more consistent with her audio and went with the video a little better. And now we just need to add some text 
To add text, let's go ahead and hide Jenny's layer, grab some text down here, make sure the text lasts only the duration of that first cut because that's how it was on Jenny's. And we're gonna change the words to be is tonic water. And let's go ahead and highlight all of that by hitting Command A or Control A on a PC. Choose a slightly better font, maybe Monsterat. And hers was just white with a black stroke. So let's go down here to Stroke and add the black stroke. That looks pretty good, kind of right there. Increase the font size. And let's see what Jenny did for hers. And notice where she had the text, it was right under her chin. So you're looking at her face and you can see the text at the same time. So let's position our text kind of exactly the same. I'm gonna just click and drag it up here. All right, the text looks good, but now we could use some arrows because if we look here, we can see that Jenny has arrows there. So let's go ahead and find an arrow. We simply click over on stickers and oh look, a red arrow. We just drag it to the timeline and position it where we want it. She has her arrow pointing up at that can. So let's go ahead and hide her track and adjust this arrow so it's pointing in the right direction. Let's go ahead and show our text again and make sure everything's lined up great. And then let's go ahead and add the arrow back here as well. We can use the same arrow. Just hold down the option or alt key, click and drag and you duplicate. That saves me a ton of time. Notice that Jenny's text and arrow are moving as she is moving this can here. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, we want our text and arrow to move together. To make them move together, we select both of them, right click, choose create compound clip, and then we wanna use tracking. I'm gonna hide Jenny's track again and position our playhead right in the middle here and jump over to video tracking, select tracking, choose motion track, Move this little sucker right here, right over something that it can possibly track. And we want it to track backwards and forwards. We want it to follow what this bottle is doing and have the text move accordingly. So we're gonna leave this set to both. We're gonna uncheck scale. We just want this to go side to side. If we have scale checked, it'll get bigger and smaller depending on what the bottle is doing, but it's not always super accurate. We're just gonna hit start and see how it does. And that's, that's actually not too bad. And we're gonna do the same thing for this guy here. All we have left is that little bit of music, so let's go ahead and click on audio. Under music, let's type classical, because she has some classical song in there. Classical music, famous Bach cello solo. Let's see that one. That could work. So we're just gonna click and drag it down here. Position our play here, we want it to end, and we're gonna hit Command B with this highlighted and just delete that. Let's adjust the levels, make sure that we have me speaking on and nothing else but the music, and let's see how it sounds. Is tonic water actually? A little bit loud, let's go ahead and click on the music and drag the volume down. Minus 15 to 20 works pretty well for me usually. Is tonic water actually water? I think that's probably pretty great. Let's go ahead and watch our masterpiece. Is tonic water actually water? I'm gonna find out by replacing Leela's tonic water with tap water to see if she notices. Now that we know how to physically do it, here's what's even more important. This is Jenny's secret that can get you hundreds of thousands of views and a million subscribers. You'll notice that Jenny's shorts are simple, they're relatable, and she doesn't waste a second. That intro was six seconds long, but it had five shots, text, graphics and music and dialogue. It has nothing to do with equipment or production value, but everything to do with great storytelling. A simple hook that creates a question you must know the answer to, delivering on the hook and then abruptly ending the video. That is a brilliant formula that you should 100% copy. In fact, watch that again and write it down. On the other end of the spectrum, you have Jimmy Donaldson, Mr. Beast, who spends a gazillion dollars on every video. But guess what? Jimmy Donaldson started out as a broke kid and didn't spend any money on his first videos. To learn how to edit like Mr. Beast, you gotta watch this video right here. Dude, this stuff still makes me all excited.